Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal with another rant. This time it is the Gal uh, Google Pixel rant. I was about to say Galaxy Note, but strictly we are talking about Google's newest smartphone, which are the Pixel and the Pixel XL. Now before I get into the rant, let me just tell you about a little bit of Google Pixel and XL, Pixel XL to be exact, which is the biggest model of the Pixel line. So basically, the Pixel has a 5 inch screen, 1080p, Pixel XL has a 5.5 with 1440p, we got a 441p, uh, ppi versus 534ppi. So it's running Android 7.1 Nougat. We're looking at front uh, back camera 12.3 megapixel for both and 8 megapixel 8 megapixel on the front for both. It can record up to 4K. Storage is 32 uh, gigabytes and 120 gigabyte option only. Both of them comes with a 4 gigabit system RAM. Battery on the Pixel is 2700 versus the 3400 on the XL. And finally, we finally have a uh, USB Type C for both. And the big, the biggest feature, if not uh, the best feature, would pro is the integration of Google Assistant. And that's basically it. Well. If you do purchase these phones, you will get unlimited cloud storage from Google themselves if you buy this phone. But on to the rant, okay? Because I have a lot to say about this phone. A lot to say. Okay, first and foremost, the design, okay? The designer of this phone is the same designer that designed. Am the Amazon Fire Phone. I'm not gonna say his name. I don't even want to say his name because I'm looking at the design and I think the design is bland. Okay, first of all, if you look at the back, I don't get the glass back. The upper part, which is the contrasting color, is actually made of glass to provide better antenna reception or uh, reception itself, cell reception. Okay. If that was the case, why couldn't they just do what the 6P had, which had the glass on the top looking like a cyclops? Why couldn't they just keep that? Okay, and then another thing is just that even on the XL, it just still looks the same. I am not a fan of this design. I'm not saying I hate it. I'm saying it could have been better. The funny thing is, is that the Nexus 6P looks much better in terms of the front and the back I can see why a lot of uh, there's a lot of mixed reviews about the design this is again this is the same designer that designed the Amazon Fire Phone I don't understand why Google hired this person now on to the bezel if you look at the bezel which I will show a picture of the bezel it's a it's almost like a iPhone design which the upper and the bottom bezel is taking up a lot of space which makes the screen look smaller not only that this phone is actually quite big because of those bezels why couldn't they just put more screen real estate instead of having so much bezel I know they're trying to get a symmetrical design here but the fact is if you're gonna have that much bezel why not put a dual speaker phone or dual speakers on it so that's another gripe for me and it's just in this day of age we shouldn't have this much of a bezel not only that if you're if they ever thought of trying to copy apple design they really really need to second guess themselves and about this uh, bezel again if you're gonna have that Bez, uh, bezel why not just add a speakerphone to me here's a weird part okay you have two speakers on the bottom but one of them is not really but even though there's two of them one of them is only an actual speaker and the other one is a microphone I don't understand it 
okay that's what iphone is doing that's uh uh um, what's the name huawei is doing and so other few companies i can't think of on top of my head right now but i know other few companies are doing that right now but i am not happy about that why not if you're gonna have that symmetrical look why not just integrate both and then put another speaker hole i mean another hole on the body for the microphone i i just don't understand the design decision here i'm trying to understand it because to me looking at the phone there's so much wasted space that it could have been used and be functional so the biggest another one another rand okay it has EIS meaning electronic image stabilization or elect or software based camera stabilization the Nexus 6P had optical image stabilization and you're telling me that Google's new smartphones don't have it on the front or the back it's just sad that if you're gonna if you're gonna have this feature from a previous uh, generation of phone that you had why not also include it in the current one or in the future one why does this only have electronic image stabilization are you are they trying to copy Sony are they confident as Sony Sony thinks that they can get away with electronic or software based camera stabilization no they're not no matter how much software image stabilization get better, it's not going to be good as the hardware base. And so, another one that I have to talk about is the storage option. Man, after looking at the iPhone 6 and the 6, I mean iPhone 7 and the 7S, I don't get it. Okay so we only have two storage options okay we only have 32 gigabytes and 128 gigabytes this is where my problem right lies okay this can shoot uh 720 1080 and 4k if you shoot a 4k you know it takes a lot of space i know because i made videos before i've taking videos of uh, certain things at 4k 32 gigabytes not enough now I know what you're telling me well look mr. informal they're providing you with unlimited cloud storage okay then I would I would refute that and say if that's the case then why are they offering a 128 gigabyte option then you're gonna refute me say well they want you to spend money well that is the point here a 32 gigabyte and a 64 gigabyte in a wholesale mindset on the wholesale scheme of things is not probably are the same price maybe five cents difference but that's nothing why not just provide 64 gigabyte option and 120 gigabyte option and then if people want to uh, use the cloud storage then use it there's nothing wrong with that I think that the, the 32 gigabyte option should have been taken out it should have been dead it should have been set from the start 64 128 it makes sense 64 times 2 is equals 128 you get what I mean and this is what I'm gonna talk about this a little bit further on okay but I'm, I'm gonna talk about something else too okay so as I mentioned before, the Pixel battery life is 30, oh no, I'm sorry, 2700 milliamps for the Pixel and the XL has 3400 milliamps. That's not a lot. That is not a lot. And I will tell you why, okay? Because, let me compare with the 6P here, okay? So I'm looking at 34. So here we go. So the 6P had also had 34 milliamps. You're telling me there was no change in the battery capacity? And I'm gonna talk about this later too, okay? To me, if it's an upgrade, it should be an upgrade, an update. In terms of battery, it should be higher 
on the XL. And on the Pixel, if you compare it with the Galaxy S7, the S7 has a 3000, I repeat, 3000 milliamps battery capacity and the Pixel only has 2700. This does not bode well. This does not, uh, no, it is not acceptable for a phone like this, for a premier phone like this, especially from Google, to not have a higher capacity battery. You're probably going to tell me, look informal, it's and stock Android, it's much more efficient, yada yada, blah 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 blah. You can you can keep that statement for yourself because I don't believe that crap. I've seen phones close to stock which has a higher battery than this. I'll give you an example, the Huawei Nova. Again, it's close to stock. I mean they have their apps in there but again it's close to stock and I still don't see why they couldn't put a higher capacity battery on it not only that it's a shame that the XL has the same capacity as the 6P it's a shame and it hurts I mean I was looking forward for the on this phone now the biggest rant I have of this phone is the price Yes, I know Google Assistant is there. Yes, I know it went to a lot of research that they had to make that up. But I think that is BS because Google makes money every day. They probably make $50 million per day. And if you look at it, it is expensive. So we're looking at the first one, okay? 32 gigabyte option for the Pixel. $650. That's a lot of money. That's more than the OnePlus 3. That's more than the ZTE Axon 7. That's more than the current price of Galaxy S7. Heck, that's more than the current price right now for the LG G5, which I am using. T Mobile has it for $499. So for the XL, we have 32 gigabyte option, $769 or 770 to round it off. And then $870 for 128 gigabyte option. Are you kidding me? For a phone like this, yes, I do know that Google Assistant, it doesn't have a camera stabilization. There's no upgrade in the battery capacity. There's, you only have a 32 gigabyte option. Uh, and there's no stereo speakers on the front or even on the bottom and you're telling me I'm paying this much think about it I live in California so let's say if I buy the pixel at $749 128 gigabyte option so that leaves us with 750 so what is that I'm looking at maybe 800 and 800 to 820 to 830 dollars okay around there that's a lot of money Let's go to the Excel. 128 gigabyte option though. So 870, right? So now I'm looking at 860, I mean 960 dollars, which is close to a grand. And it shouldn't even be costing that much. You know, let me down below of what you think of the price of the Pixel phones, people. You know, I do read comments, but let me know. I just don't understand it and I don't know what marketing said to Google or the marketing department thinking hey wait a minute we should have a premier phone we should have you know, we should raise up the price to compete with others no if the Nexus 6P uh, was priced at a reasonable price why is this so much more expensive I don't understand it and another another thing that irritated me is the Verizon wireless exclusive you know what that absolutely irritates me I, I just don't get it okay if Google you know I've seen Google commercials lately especially for this phone I've seen I've seen a lot of commercial on TV for this phone lately but if you want 
to spread awareness to the marketing and you want the consumer to buy this phone why have a Verizon exclusive why not why not um, do it what you did on the Nexus 5 which everybody had it which everybody every carrier could offer it to the consumer to the general consumer not the tech junkies not the geeks not the freaks not the gearheads not the sp smartphone nerds whatever you want to call it for the general consumer not only that if if you buy the Verizon exclusive Verizon is the one who's gonna give you the update man don't have haven't Google learned from the Galaxy Nexus ah oh, man it's I you know let me know what you think down below of this of this uh, the Google Pixel and XL I must be the only one who's actually complaining about this phone you know as of right now I am using a LG G5 which I love in color gold you know it's not slow it's actually quite quick and quite speedy I, I disable a lot of the apps that I don't need you know just like the look and all that crap and I feel like it's still stock and I put Nova launcher on it no, but going back to the Google Pixel, I really do not understand this phone. This phone has a lot of shortcomings which are very important to me and consumers such as I think every consumer would love to have the dual speakers for obviously speakerphone purposes and also musical pur purposes. You have the missing optical image stabilization. Instead, they use electronic base. I think it would people take a lot of pictures with their phone not only that you have the 32 gigabyte option I think if they want the general consumer to buy this phone they should have had the 64 gigabyte option now I know they want their cloud services to be used but it, they would have benefited in the 64 gigabyte option and if consumer wants to back their uh, items from their phone they could use their cloud storage which is a plus plus for the consumer and not only that, you have the Verizon exclusive, which again, that limits consumer spending or consumer purchases because you're only uh, providing it to Verizon. Yes, people can buy it at Google Online or their Play Store, but a general consumer is not going to go to the online without feeling or touching the phone and without checking it out. They need to fill it out before purchasing anything, especially from Google, who doesn't have that brand a strong of a brand awareness and brand reputation you got to have that before you can g gain consumer trust and so I may be the only one that's ranting about this phone but let me know what you think down below and again I do not understand this phone but again let me know what you think down below and I do read comments and I will see you on the next one this is Mr. Informal I will see you again